Hi, my name is Farhan Gafoor and today we are going to learn how to install the XAMPP server on our local laptop. So for that, let's open the Google Chrome, make it maximize and then search download XAMPP server. When we search, we get this first uh, website which is apachifriends.org. So we will download the XAMPP server from here, okay, so click. So you can find here three options for download different version of the XAMPP server for Windows. Same, it is available for Linux and OS X in Mac machines. We will download for Windows. So there are three versions 7.3, 7.4 and 8. 8 is the recent version with the latest PHP option which is 8.0.1. So we are going to download this. When we click on the download, we get this file downloading. So this file will take some time. It is 157 MB. So it is not a big file. You can easily download on your local laptop from internet. And you can install the XAMPP server for your course. So let's wait for its finishing. Okay, it has finished. Double click this and run. It is showing me that I have antivirus running, so no problem. Just continue. And it is giving me warning don't install on your C drive something but ignore this no problem and then click next and next and on the CZM server next English language next okay so it will just open this bit of me and next Ok student, it has now finished, so click on finish and you will see this uh, one window open. What we can do here, we can start the Apache server and MySQL. Ok, when we do work for database, we need this MySQL and to run any website, we need this Apache server. Ok. So I will start this later. First I have one file here test.php. I will show you the file. This file has only one line echo. Echo means print. Print this statement. And welcome in the web development course. So I will remove this file and I will open this from inside the installation. So what I do I just click this file cut and I go to C drive where we install this 
in the C drive we got this XAMPP folder after the installation okay so this folder is very important all your file should store in this folder in XAMPP folder we have htdocs folder htdocs folder okay so this is the main folder for your files in the XAMPP, uh, XAMPP folder okay in the htdocs you can uh, place your file here which file I created test.php or you can also create a file here test.php for example and now I will open this file from here to show you okay so what is in the file the same which I told you before welcome in the web browsing course okay so my file is in the htdocs so in the same way all your file should be here you can also create a folder here and put all the file in the folder or just you can place here for testing and my file my file is in the htdocs in the xamp folder on the c drive so now i will start the apache okay and then i go to my admin Okay, so I will write here my test.php file name and you get the result welcome in the web development course. Okay, so this is a test that our server has been installed properly. That we write localhost test.php. How did we come here? Just close this, click on admin. Okay, and then this is a sample dashboard just remove this and write your file name test.php okay or you can also open direct um, you can open this and write here localhost and then slash test.php If you close this, how will you bring this again? Just uh, right here, XAMPP server, okay? In the search, you will find it here. You can also uh, pin to the taskbar or start menu, okay? So you can double click, it will open again. And if you want to stop the server, just click stop. Same, you can start the MySQL database server. Okay, so this is all from my side today. If you have any comment, please write down in the comment area. I will try my best to give you reply as soon as possible. This is uh, our first uh, video about the web development course. In the next video, we will discuss more about the PHP coding. Okay, so I will teach you full PHP course inshallah in this video series. Take care. Bye-bye.